Hi, welcome to my channel Rubia Stedman. Today I'll be teaching you how to crochet this beautiful scarf. It's almost like a mini shawl, but I much prefer like a scarf. It's beautiful. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of material you're gonna need to make it. To make this triangular scarf, this is the yarn I'm gonna use. It's carrot cake. The color is red velvet, medium four. 80% acrylic, 20% wool, and it's 200 grams. The crochet hook is 8 millimeters. It's uh, nice and big, that way you can work fast and the work is nice and soft. This one that I have here, it was made from the leftover jar that I have from my Karen cake when I did my cardigan a few weeks ago. In my granny square cardigan so I had this left over and I decided to do one of these and then I said why not show how to do it for any beginner that they can make one of these it's very easy and fast to do so if you don't have carrot cake you can use one color for the entire piece or you can use leftover yarn you can choose a color scheme for your uh, a scarf. For example, I have an example here. I have this soft pink, this coral, I have this a little bit darker pink, and then this even darker pink. You see, you can do like three or four row of this one, three or four row, this one, three or four row, this one, three or four row, this one, and I start all over again. So the size of this is up to you. Whatever size you want to make, you can make um, a scarf like this, or you can do a shawl. It's up to you. So let's start making our very easy scarf. We're going to start with the magic circle and I'm going to do a loop like this. You're going to pass your yarn through that loop. You're going to give a little bit of a twist. You see? Like this. And you're going to pass the hook through that loop. And then you're going to start chaining three one two and three plus one for separation so if you want to do treble crochet in here and instead of elongated double crochet or double crochet you'll have to chain one more but for me it's three plus one so you're going to do a yarn over and i'm going to do an elongated double crochet i pass it through two pass it through one and pass it through two this creates the stitch a little bit longer, but not too, too long. So pass two, one, and two. We have to do three of these. So I have two. Remember that I don't count the chain. The chain is separate. And three. Pass it through two, through one, and now two. You're going to chain two, one, and two. And you have to do three more on the other side. So that's one, two, and three. And then the same way that you start with the uh, chain three plus one, you need to have the same on the other side. So we want to chain one and do an stitch exactly the same as you've been working, and here. So you have the same separation in here and in here. So you're gonna pull the tail and you finish row number one. So you're gonna have a space of one chain in here, a space of two chain, and a space of one chain in here at the end. Row number two, you're gonna chain three plus one, exactly the same as the beginning. You're gonna turn your work around. In the chain space in here, you're gonna do three stitches whichever you decided to work with. Mine are elongated double crochet. And three. I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna come here to the chain to a space. And again, I'm gonna do my three stitches. One. Two. 
and three, you're gonna chain two, and in the same space, you're gonna do three more. That's one, two, and three. You're gonna chain one, and in that chain one space in here, you're gonna do your three stitches. One, two, and three. Now you're going to chain one, yarn over, and you're going to come here and count one, two, and in the third chain, you're going to do one of the stitches that you're doing. For mine, is an elongated double crochet. So it had to be there in the third chain. And like that, you finish row number two, and we're gonna start row number three. You're gonna chain three plus one, one, two, and three plus one. Turn your work around again. You're gonna do just three stitches in the first chain space. That's one, two. and three, elongated double crochet, chain one, yarn over, go to the next chain space, and do your three stitches, that's one, two, and three. Chain one, you're gonna come here to the tip, and you're gonna do three, that's one, two, and three. You're going to chain two, one and two, and again in the same space you're going to do three, and that create the tip, one, two, and three, chain one, go to the chain one space, and again do your three stitches, that's one, two, and three, chain one, and in here in the chain one space, you're going to do your three stitches. That's one, two, and three. Again, you're going to chain one, yarn over, and you're going to count one, two, and then the third one. The third one is always almost under the last stitch. You're going to pass your hook, and you're going to do your last stitch. And like that, you're going to do all your rows. You see, it's very easy and very fast to do and it's nice and soft because you're working with a big hook and a long stitch. So I will show you row number four and from there you can continue until you have your desired length. Row number four, one, two, three, plus one. Turn your work around and that chain one space in here. You want to do three stitches. It's exactly the same repetition. Chain one, chain one space, three stitches. So I did the other one just watching TV, and uh, then no time, you know, you do this. The good thing about this is repetition, 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 nothing change. It's not when you have to be counting stitches, 
like I found on uh, a very precise pattern. Yeah, this one is very easy to do. Here are the tip again. One. Two. And three, chain two, and three in the same space. So you can make this with just regular double crochet and a smaller crochet hook. You can use a six millimeter, a five millimeter crochet hook. The stitch will be a smaller and a little bit more tight the space. So it's up to you, I just give you the idea and you can change it any way you like. And three, chain one, again in here. I'm trying to work fast because I'm running out of battery. And I try to work this as fast as I could. And that way I get to the end. And here I am at the end. So you're gonna do your three stitches in here. Two. And three, chain one. And again, you're going to count one, two, and then the third one. And try to grab the two strand, and that way, this in here is nice and strong. You know, the two strand in the top. And like that, you finish row number four. And look how quick it goes. So, and this one here. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty rows. For this one that I'm making now, I want to do a few more rows extra because this one was just uh, a little bit that I have left over, and this is a full ball of yarn. I may do 25, 26 uh, uh, rows, but I will let you know. I will work for a few and I show you how the color is turning out. Here okay. I have 11 row and look how nice it starts to look with the combination of color. So I will continue working and I'll meet you here when I have the desired size for mine. Here I'm going to finish my 24th row with the chain one. I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to lose that tails, this one and the other one. And it looks like a mini shawl but it's to put on like a scarf. I love this color. You cross it in the back and bring it to the front. And if you like, you can do some tassels in here. And that's what I'm going to do for mine two tassels to put it at the end. But it looks amazing. So after that, I'll show when you. When you that finish, it will look like this with the tassels. I don't show you how to do the tassel because I've already done a few videos here with. Um, pieces with tassels and I show you how to do them but if you don't know how to do them they're very easy and there's many many videos here on YouTube and how to do them for this one I did 12 times the wrap of each color I have three colors here so I did 12 of the red 12 of the gray and 12 of the lighter color now if they're nice and thick this is the leftover yarn from that bowl so now I'm going to put it on my mannequin and I'll show you the end result. Like this, look the first one that I made. The ends, I tucked them in underneath in here because they're not that long. And they look really nice and nice and warm. So now I'm going to show you the one that well, we just this made. Well, this is the end result and I love, love the color of this one. It's amazing. And you see, it's very easy and fast to do. And with the tassel, it's a really nice finishing touch. I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up. 
and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this piece and you want to send me some picture you can do it through my Facebook page Ruby Stedman or you can find me in my Instagram Ruby Stedman Crochet please share my video with friends and family that way you help me grow here in YouTube and don't forget to go to my channel for more ideas I wish you have a beautiful day bye